Shitland, fellow residences, rubblings, and YouTubers. This is Elias Moth uh, with the Love Vlog Chronicles and Vlog of the Fifth. Yeah. Right. Uh, this vlog review is actually a trilogy review, and this is about the Black Magician trilogy. Looks like this by Trudy Canavan. Um, yeah, the first book, um, The Magician's Guild, is published by Orbit Books in 2001. Um, I don't actually have it because I've lent both one and two to my brothers. I'm turning into I'm turning them into bibliophiles. Um, yeah, so this is about a younger dwell called Sonia who discovers her magical powers by throwing stones at magicians. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the story covers her journey from when she, went well, from the day of her throwing the stones to when she's accepted by the Magician's Guild as a student. Um, I really don't want to give too much away because it's a pretty good book. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it kind of, it's hard to explain, really. Um, yeah, and I love the book. It uh, pretty much, well, I hadn't really heard any reference to it, to the whole trilogy. Um, I'd heard of the author, um, and the, another trilogy she has called The Age of Five. Um, I haven't read them. I will do, but I haven't. Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, the book, I love the book. The book's engaging, um... It keeps you wanting to read more and to find out what's happening. Um, it follows kind of two storylines that are kind of side by side. It kind of, well, it follows two sides of the same story. So, like, the Guild side and Sonia's side kind of along the book until, you know, and, and they collide and up to the end of the book. Um, yeah, and but I think what makes it kind of... A really good book is the fact that it's a, well. How I think of it is an, ex, is an exaggerated alternate world of our own, of our own kind of. Um, I think how the author put it was, um, "What if magic was the science?" And so, you know, our science, the world, our world is based on science, on atoms, on, you know, the stars and things. It was kind of like, she she said that, what if magic was the science, you know, being able to heal the body, be able to kind of mend broken bones and create new things and all the rest of it, kind of instead of, you know, the sci science and like cameras and stuff, you know, instead of, you know, taking pills, you know, you fix a broken bone and you know, with magic. Um, yeah, it, because of that, it kind of gives a lot of realism to the whole world and the book. Um, and I think there's a slight bit of an escapism there. Um, yeah, this, you know, kind of combines, you know, it, I, it is a book that you kind of have to sit down and, like, properly read, you know, if you have a Saturday off. Um, the novice, which is the second book, um, I don't have that either, one of my other brothers has got it, um, yeah, and that was released again by all the books in 2002, um, I think the, f yeah, the first book was released in 2001, um, and yeah, the novice follows Sonia as she goes through the trials of being a student at the guild, um, through to when she's taken on as the Dark Lord's novice, um, and you know she has to deal with being a dwell amongst the a dwell child amongst the children of the houses. So of course it's going to be um, bullying and all the rest of it. Um, and yeah, like, again, like the first book is engaging, keeps you wanting to read more. Uh, yeah, um, it is a little bit slow, 
I mean, yes, it's the middle book, and it does, yes, it's kind of, it has the middle, what I call the middle book syndrome of feeling like slow exposition, but it does set up book three, it does show history for the world and the characters, and it kind of, it gives time for the characters to kind of grow into the people that you really want to root for. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, it's, I think it's mainly there for growth, I mean, yeah, it's, it is mainly just there for growth, really. Um, that's my opinion, so, you know. Uh, book three, which is this one, The High Lord. The, actually, this is the only one of a cover, to be honest. I I broke the, <laughs> the covers off the one. These are paperbacks, so I kind of broke the covers off because I was reading them too much. Um, yeah, and it's pretty much, it kind of picks up about a month or two after the novice finishes and it kind of ties up all the loose end turns up kind of loose ends of questions and um all the rest of it so yeah pretty much follow sonia as the high lord's novice through the time when uh when the, the, both her and the high lord akarin have to protect the land of Corridia from an old from a, an old enemy using uh, f like half forgotten forbidden magic uh, called black magic which involves um, uh, cutting the, uh, the skin and uh, transferring magic it's forbidden because not everyone's trusted type thing it's a reference to um, a reference to not every it's a power that people would have could and would abuse type thing um yeah and yet again it's um it you know holds the audience has enough realism and escapism to kind of give the world credence and or you know to support the possible threat that it can be true um yeah and i'm not going to tell you how it ends because well Suffice to say, Akarin doesn't survive, but you've got to find out how. Because I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, there isn't a proposed movie or a series of movies for these. I wish there was, because, it, it, I mean, I'll tell you now, if there was a movie announced, I'd find a way to be an extra. Or if I can be an extra, I'll be like, I'll buy one of the first little tickets for the first screening at midnight, you know. That's how good these books are. Um, yeah, I, I think they're pretty fantastic movies. Uh, yeah, so um, if you haven't read them, you should, because it's one of the good books. Um, Trudy, Can Trudy Canavan is a great author, so, you know, look her up. Um, and, yeah, so if you haven't read them, it's Black Magician Trilogy by Trudy Canavan. The Magician's Guild, and all this, and the Black Magician. The Mad Magician? The High Lord. Ciao.